Alright, purple foam roller. Colour doesn't really matter, but I like the purple one. It seems to make me a little bit more powerful in my session because it's purple. Purple for power. No, not really. Purple foam roller. So, a foam roll before my session to help me attain better positions when I'm squatting, benching, deadlifting, any accessories. And I go through the same routine every time just to make sure that all variables are the same when I'm training. Upper back or thoracic region. So I start around the mid back. I don't go too low into the lumbar region just because I'm just trying to hold upper back. You might feel a few cracks as you're rolling. Hold the back of the head with your hands and try and pull a little bit of tension through with the neck by pulling your head forward. Just rolling up and down, going to different positions, leaning back a little bit more. Just trying to release the upper back. You might feel a few pops from the spine, but it's completely fine. Working through the rhomboids there. Next one, lats. So this one's a good one when you're actually wanting to activate the lats after, which everyone should be doing. So holding it just at the base of the lat there, close to the ribs. What you're gonna do, keep that hand out to try and get a little bit of a stretch on the lat as you're rolling up and down the belly of the lat. Now this can be a little bit tender, especially if you've done some lat work the day before. So you're gonna to wanna to start a little bit softer and then work your way into it. Just remember, harder isn't better. You're more than likely gonna actually tense up more if you do it too aggressively. So start slow and then start working into it as it relaxes more. Hamstring. These ones are always tight for me. And I find stretching or doing a static stretch uh, makes you feel a little bit too loose through the movements. So and I find foam rolling not only targets the spot better, but it doesn't make you feel so loose as you're doing any squats, any deadlifts. And you also get a little bit of a isometric contraction as you're doing it, so you get a little bit more warmed up. Imagine a plank, every time you're doing this, you're still forming an isometric contraction. Rolling out through the whole belly of the hamstring, changing angles, working through more into the adductor as you turn on the inside. Straight down the hip, straight the belly. Glute mean. So you can target this a lot more specifically with the trigger ball, but I also like to roll up and down the glute mean because it is a bigger muscle than people think it is. So going across the whole area, it sort of helps with the hip as well, release the hip, takes a little bit of pressure out of those hips before squatting, and it feels good, right. Quadriceps. This one's generally quite tight for most people. I have to go a leg at a time. Some people like to do two legs, but I roll all the way up to the hip flexor, and then all the way down just before the knee. I like to work around different angles as I'm doing the roll. So I'll roll up, and I'll roll onto the side of the RGB, and then as I'm rolling back, I'll roll, roll into the medial side of the quad, into the adductor and the hip. Last one, not vital, but it can help, especially if you're finding you have limited range of motion through your ankle. Just stretching and rolling out that calf muscle there. Generally, the outside is going to be quite a lot tighter than the inside, so making sure you're working around that area. And that's my routine that I go through every single time. Uh, find your routine if you found a few tips from that. Hope it helps.